I'm at the 5K Karen Trust charity run here at Luton Hoo Estate. Karen Singh was just 38 when she passed away this July with cancer. Her family and friends have set up the charity to raise enough money to build retreats all across the UK. You're um, Karen's brother. That's right, yeah. so I know she's died of cancer. What gave you that courage and spurred you on to set up the charity? Um, well, to be honest, it was Karen. Yeah. You know, Karen's wish was to help other people. She understood how serious it is and how important it is to have uh, family and friends and that quality time that you need with your family. So Karen kind of inspired me to do this. And I know you're building some retreats across the UK. What will, what's the facilities and services that will be in the retreats? Well, it's just a place where they can go to so small cottages, four or five bedrooms. They can go with the families, enjoy some quality time together, sauna, jacuzzi, everything that can facilitate a quality time. They can just have, you know. It's just very important because, you know, Karen, she's a lovely girl, lovely girl. And, you know, it's very sad and we just want to, we just want to help. We just want to help. Did you, did you know Karen personally? Yeah, I knew her. I think they, we yeah, knew her, but we didn't. More so her partner, you know, more so her partner. She's a very good friend of ours. We all grew up together. Yeah, so it's all very sad. And we want to turn it into a positive. Yeah, it's all a good cause. Yeah. I hope and to raise lots of making money. awareness, yeah. you know, of the campaign. And of course there's a few um, high-profile people. Obviously that's going to yeah. make people more aware of how many people's lives are affected by cancer. And there's going to be a retreat where families can go to to sort of go through that period of grieving I mean before the actual loss so it's just yeah you know we want to be part of it and yeah. if we can raise a little bit of money by doing a run even though I can't run <laughs> um, I, I want to do it yeah it's a positive thing it's yeah. a very positive thing it's yeah. brought the community together as yeah. well which is really important yeah. when you see the support of the family and the family getting trying to get the family together to be in the same place and they could stay together and support their sick one um, that is when we realized uh, afterwards what can we do to try and make it easier for people and uh, that's when we started to think about like doing this fun run doing golf days doing balls we're gonna do everything we're gonna do whatever it takes to try and make sure that we can fund um, buying our retreat so what does it mean for you to be running at today's events well, I mean, it's it's great to be part of this event today. It's such a wonderful cause, and we're, we're just happy to, to come along and support it. How did you find out about the charity events? Well, we both work at the Students' Union at the University of Bedfordshire, and um, Joe popped along and saw us and asked if, uh, if the Students' Union would be interested in putting in a team. And uh, as Kieran said, it's such a good cause that we felt we had to do it. Fighting the weather today. <laughs> That's awful. But um, can I be nosy and ask how much you've raised? Um, myself, I've raised £56 so far. I've done £50 so far, but I'm going to hopefully increase on that. I have friends who have also been through the same experience, and I know that once cancer is diagnosed, the illness becomes all that anyone relates to. They almost forget your professionals around you, the healthcare professionals. No matter how kind they are and caring, they almost forget you're a human being, and you need to put together some precious memories. You need to have those last days, weeks, um, to be as good quality as you possibly can. So what they're going to do is, the current trust is raising money, partly for research, because obviously, you know, we need to discover more about the causes and cure for this terrible disease, but also a lot of it is going to be to set up this respite home where Patients and families can go and have, um, a, it's like um, a little haven for them. You and I probably don't know anyone who hasn't suffered with cancer and the retreats are a really unique way of helping other cancer sufferers. If you'd like to make a donation or you'd like to find out about future events, you can look up all the information on the website, that's the Karen Trust. I'm Charmaine Lyon reporting for Local News TV.